The gold standard of interventional radiology procedures in early stage patients with HEC is radiofrequency ablation. Of course, there are other techniques such as microwave ablation or lately cryoablation. There are no comparative studies between these techniques showing advantage of one over another, but all these techniques can be used to treat early stage HEC. HCC is a, a good example, a good model for precision medicine. I mean, that medicine that is modeled, that is tailored on the individual patient. And in, in that sense, multidisciplinary approach is of the utmost importance. When we are dealing with the patient with HCC, we have to consider that he has a diseased liver. So the contribution of the hepatologist, of the surgeon, of the uh, oncologist and the anesthesiologist in evaluating the surgical risk is very important. There are several options to treat early stage lepatocellular carcinoma from the surgical standpoint. The most important one is liver transplantation. You can replace the whole liver and the cancerogenic condition, the cirrhosis, that is ultimately the cause of cancer. And the other option you can use in uh, this patient are liver resection, tumor resection. You can basically take a part of the liver out with the tumor and resection can be divided in anatomical resection, meaning the removal of the entire segment where the tumor is located, or non-anatomical resection, uh, just taking the little rim of uh, normal tissue around the tumor. In the past few years, many papers have been published investigating the results of different therapies in the setting of very early and early stage HCC. In particular, six randomized controlled trials have been published comparing resection to ablation in early stage HCC. We all know that these studies have a few limitations and are very homogeneous one to the other, but however, they all agreed that ablation had a lesser complication rate when compared to resection. The new avenue of research, at least for us, for our group, is focused on response to therapy. We believe that, that there is a dynamic view for decision making in these patients. Not only looking at the patient when he or she presents with the diagnosis of cancer, but also depending on the response to therapy. Cancer has become more or less the most important cause of death in patients with cirrhosis. So targeting cancer-specific endpoints, rather than generally speaking survival, it will be an important future for our field and an important target for all our studies. So what is important to me now is not to go on trying to produce larger and larger volume of ablation, but to become more precise in ablating the tumor itself. That means improving our way of guiding ablation, of targeting and monitoring ablation to be sure that we are ablating the tumor and also the cuff of a normal parenchyma around the tumor to give safety margin and the best chance of success to our procedures.